it's your girl says and i'm back <laughs> back with another one straight facts if you haven't already make sure you drop those comments down below subscribe to this channel make sure you hit the bell on the side to get notified when a girl posts and last but not least make sure you like this video up like this one the last one the last one and the last one before that so as you guys can tell by the title i am doing a chick-fil-a mukbang slash um advice like story time kind of sort of um i got the question right here and i'm about to dig in my food because i'm hungry before i'm doing this video right in between my 10 o'clock class and my 12 30 class so you know bear with me so uh the question is how do you realize someone is toxic in your life <laughs> i can speak for this i definitely definitely can speak for this hold on y'all let me get my my food out. Chick-fil-A been out food again. It was a Tuesday when I came here. The stuff was cold. The chicken sandwich was cold. Hold on, y'all. I only, I don't eat Chick-fil-A. I don't know what is the hype about Chick-fil-A. I only eat the chicken, the spicy chicken sandwich. That's the only thing I get. And I should have asked for no pickles because I don't like pickles. Hot pickles on my burgers uh, chicken sandwich. But this is the only only thing I eat from Chick-fil-A, like any fries, I love the fries. When it be hot, when it be fresh. But the question is, um, I hope y'all can hear me. I'm a little stopped up. My sinuses is aching up, my nose itch, my eyes itch, they be irritating, my throat be itching, everything. So uh the question is how do you realize someone is toxic in your life? And when is the perfect time to get to cut them out your life? So, uh, I had a few of those. I had a few of those. Um, <clears throat> my thing is when you realize someone is toxic, toxic in your life is when it's just like draining. Like every time they come to you is about something negative. Um, when they talk to you, it's always about mess, drama. Every time they go somewhere with you in public or they see or, or somebody see them in public. They always getting in an altercation, or they always gotta exchange words with somebody. Like that's when you know somebody toxic, like for real, for real. But not even, not even just that. Like when, when you, when you know somebody toxic, like when you just wake up, like you're not even comfortable, like waking, like in a relationship. I'm speaking for like in a relationship. Like when you um wake up to somebody and you like, oh lord, here this shit go again, or like. Every time you turn around, some shit reappearing or like some, it's just always like drama mess. That's when you know they're toxic. I'm telling you. I had a, a few of those. So I had a friend. I ain't gonna speak her name, but I had a friend, and uh, and uh, oh, so I had a friend, and this was like. She had became like one of kind of sort of my best friends or whatever. We had through this, we had through this in eighth grade. We had through this party, this big old like graduation party together. Like we was doing it big. We had got shirts made and everything. And I don't know what I don't know what took the turn, but I know every time somebody would come to me, they'd be like, "Sis, I need you to stop. You need to, you gotta stop. You gotta stop hanging with her." Like she always about drama she always involved herself in mess and all of that so i didn't see it i didn't see it at all i was like that's my friend everything i don't know my babe but i don't know what took the left turn but i don't know we just started like falling falling off it was four of us it was four of us. And the crazy thing about it is, y'all, we had a little group called the Gutter Pumps. That sounds so crazy. That sounds so crazy, but that was our little group name. And everybody, everybody, I ain't gonna lie, but they were like, they wanted to be like us. They they created a team. Other people created a team. We had got shirts made. We had signs. I just was out on the side, across our little um, eye, whatever. But... Everybody used to be like, you so smart. Why you hang out with them? 
everything. They even try to split in A grade. They had A, 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 and A, B, the classrooms. They even try to split us up because it just was like, this person was like, she was loud, she was common, she was always the attention seeker. Like every time we go out, she got to um, act up in the middle of the street. She always wanted to fight somebody. She always had beef with somebody. And then it be coming back on us like, damn, like, you know that's your friend, you want to um, defend her or whatever, but sometimes she was wrong. I had a little food crunch. The best. So, let me get into this thing. But, so, I don't know. I don't know where I started to take a left turn there, but she had, we had a friend named Wanda. Lord, I love me some Wanda. That was like one of my closest friends. I met her in sixth grade. Wanda, she passed away to me. But it was like some mess going around, saying I was talking about Wanda. All kinds of stuff. All kinds of stuff. Then the girl, then the girl that was my best friend, the one that started this. Then she had her siblings calling my phone, um, playing on my phone, saying that they was gonna send somebody to my school and jump me. Y'all, it was like it had got real bad. It had came to the point where I literally wanted to fight her. Like I was dead ass serious. Like I was like, send me your location. I'ma send you my location. Once you gonna we gonna meet up. Like bitch. Like let me get. You know I'm about to. You know I'm about to, like I'm gonna fuck you up. Cause like that's one thing I don't do. I don't do all that internet beat, all that talking, all that bitch this, bitch this, fuck you, fuck, I don't do that. If you want fight, that's fight. And it's just that simple. But, um, but yeah. But, then, I have a, a mentor, I was in a, a, a big brother, big sister program. And it was like helpful for me or whatever. And she became like my actual sister, like, Still, still to this day, that's my sister. Nobody can tell me no different. So, she ended up taking us to the skating rink. And she was like, you can invite one of your friends. I was like, okay. I invited my friend. At the time, my best friend. So like, okay. We go to the skating rink. It's me, my sister, her husband, and my friend. Tell me why. She got a high skirt on, shaking in front of this man. Like, he's not married. Like, that's not my sister. Like, she was just like the attention seeker. Attention seeker. Like, for real. And, I don't got time for that. But, um, it came to a point where I was like, you know what? I can't deal with it no more. Like, it's becoming too draining. It's being too toxic. She always about drama mess. So, the best way to do is eliminate myself from the situation. And I simply told her, like my other two friends, they was still cool with her, friends, whatever that case may be. But you know what? When y'all hang around her, I won't be there. Y'all can hang around me separately. We're going to keep this a uh, 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 distance because uh, I don't have time for all that. I don't have time for all that. Like, you get to a point in your life where you just want to evolve you don't want to be surrounded with all that with all that negativity and that's what it was recently a situation like that happened again but it wasn't like a toxic situation but it was always drama and i would never let my if i consider you my friend no bad friend the last friend the, the eighth grade best friend she still be around to this day. I would never talk to her. I would never talk to her. I would never. I can't. I can, I'm not fake. And I can't just sit there and smile on your face. Like, even though you may come around or whatever, y'all rekindle whatever y'all rekindle with y'all or with, with the other friends. Because some stuff happened with them too. But y'all rekindle what y'all had. But I'll never get past that. I forgive you. I, yeah, I truly forgive you. But I never forget it. Like, I never forget it. Like, somebody you consider your best friend, somebody you consider like. You, I should have met my, my whole family and all of that. Like, come on now. 
But um, but recently some stuff like that happened again, and it's always drama. And before I lay my hands on somebody, I'm going to just remove myself. Because, oh, I don't mind fighting. I don't mind fighting. But if I consider somebody my friend, and she knows she, she know who she is, this recent situation, she knows who she is if she ever see this video. But if I consider myself as somebody friend, I wouldn't lay my hands. And it came to a point where I literally wanted to lay some hands on her. For real. Like, literally wanted to lay some hands on her. But I said to myself, I wasn't gonna let my, I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna do that. So, that answers the question, when should you cut somebody off from being too, too toxic? When it's becoming, when it's becoming, to, when it's becoming draining in your relationship or friendship, that's when I think you should cut somebody off. When it's like, every time you turn around, some drama is coming at me every time we turn around like I see myself crying over the situation or when you when you feel like your, your back against the wall like you can't do nothing else that's when I feel like you should cut somebody off for real cuz um, baby girl <laughs> baby girl's about to get in one for real for real for real with a couple of people but I don't know if it's just me, but I don't have a problem with cutting nobody off, to be honest. To be honest, I really don't. Like, yeah, this recent situation, it hurt it because it's been my friend since 10 plus years, and she knows who she is. Yeah, it hurt it, but I can't fuck with you. I can't fuck with you. Because you fucking with somebody that I don't fuck with, and I just, I'm not fake. I'm not fake. I can't. And the situation was becoming too damn toxic. Too damn toxic. I'm like, damn, every time I turn around, somebody coming at me. And then, and mind you, I was trying to be the mediator, y'all. The mediator. That's what I get from trying to be the peacemaker all the time. I'm trying to put two, two and two together, two friends together, and to come back and fire back on me. But I'm glad it happened because... This person been feeling like this. This this person been feeling this way about me. Like some stuff was said, and I was like, "Oh, for real? That's how you really feel? Like that's how you really feel?" Huh? Hmm. But that's neither here nor But I hope that sums up when you know somebody, when you realize somebody toxic in your life. For real. But I hope y'all can hear me too because I'm in a cab in the union or whatever at school. And I want to make this a quick video because I saw this. I saw this um this topic going around and I wanted to um I wanted to express it to y'all because I've been in this, this situation before. A couple of times. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more content. I got like a couple of videos dropping this week. <laughs> Hopefully it gets to y'all by this week because uh, a girl be tired. Like, as y'all can tell, like, I'm gonna stop up and all of that. But, um, and it's cold weather. I can't do this cold weather. Like, people is ready. People is ready for this cold weather to come. But, not me. <laughs> I don't like being cold. I hate being cold. I just don't like it. Like, but <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> but um, what the hell? <laughs> but I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Some more videos will be dropping soon. I ain't done my chick for now. I'm about to finish this. I'm about to smash this like quick. And when you read over some notes before class, that's what I do. But, um, I love y'all. And make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to my channel, for real, for real. Tell a friend to tell a friend, like, tell your mom and your daddy, everybody to subscribe to my channel. Life is sexy. Life is sexy. And we out.
Yeah. What? Alright. Uh, Three cups. Gang. Uh, I got.